flesh eater cords. Flesh eater cords. Action. Flesh eater cords. And lo, did Garland ride afore, stained head to toe in fiend things gore. With blade he split their flesh from bone to drape before his liege sire's throne. Twas Garland who felled the savage beast and dragged it home to form the feast. In the shadows of ruined empires, the flesh-eater courts thrive, armored in delusion, ferocious from insatiable bloodlust. All right, TMP fans, welcome back. Flesh Eater Courts Army unboxing. This is going to be epic. All right. So, so over here in the back, what you have is an abhorrent gore warden. You have crypt guards and morbid knights and the Volgov Courtier, which I am absolutely ecstatic for the Volgov Courtier because I hated the metal sculpt before. I think this one should have had wings like the last one, but aside from that, at least we have a Volgov courtier and some interesting, Gore Warden is interesting, like unique sculpts because Flesh Eater Quartz has always suffered from being pretty generic. So there's a glorious plastic. Uh, pretty epic there on the sprue. I like the way that they fit their uh, pieces on the sprue there because it's pretty efficient and it doesn't waste a lot of uh, sprue, but we do have a lot of sprue left over. I don't know. What do you think, Sarah? What do you think you would do with all this sprue? Um, Probably use it to uh, construct some sort of terrain. To me, it really reminds me of maybe fencing at a graveyard or some sort of um, reinforcement around windows even, but that's been you know, smashed over time. Something like that. We do like that smashed over time war look. Maybe we'll do something with the sprue. I mean, we can make sprue goo, which um, that's like a liquid cement that will cement two pieces together. Now look at this. They used to include posters here. Like what's going on? Come on guys. All right, here is the glorious book, the Flesh Eater Courts book, which is absolutely amazing. We finally get a book, although it's towards the end of this edition of um, Age of Sigmar, because I, I think that this summer they're going to come up with a new edition of Age of Sigmar, but this army book should work with that edition of Age of Sigmar. If it doesn't, that would be definitely a fail. <laughs> So anything new that's in this book should apply to uh, the new Age of Sigmar. Uh, I predict that the new Age of Sigmar is just going to be a little bit of a bonus, like things that you can do, a little tweaking, not really an overhaul of Age of Sigmar. So like they did for um, 10th edition 40K, they overhauled everything. Uh, and the way you play is different. I like this little picture in the background. That's pretty cool, the Gore Warden. And of course, you have cards and stuff like that, so you could play, and I think the cards are very effective uh, if you wanna see all the rules in one place. I love cards, and they're pretty big. So let's open this up and see what they kinda look like over here. Um, I, I think it's really cool, it's a great addition. I think that uh, Warhammer 40K would benefit from something like this, like these big cards, so this way you know. Uh, plus, you have little tokens in here for their spell abilities and everything else, which I always find great uh, as well. And then, you know, little lures and stuff like that. I always used to get confused on the lures with that. Um, so now having them there. And as you can see, they even includes in the gash, which, uh, which is great to have the updated version of them because I do have the card. I do have the model, but I don't have the, um, the card for them. So now I do. So it's pretty cool. To have everything there. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward to Ulsharan. Oh my gosh, when he comes out, it's gonna be on like Donkey Kong. Like <laughs> what do you think of <laughs> what do you think of uh Ulsharan? I'm definitely excited to see what his model looks like and see, you know, what you can do with him because he is basically the creator, if you will, of the um flesh eater courts. Correct? That's correct. That's right. He is the original vampire that started the Court of Delusions right there. 
Um, but yeah, absolutely. He's kind of a sad story in that he, well, there's controversy, but many believe that he actually was good and noble and fair. But then he was driven mad by things that he saw on one of his expeditions. That's right. So I don't know. It's kind of a sad story. But then other people say that he was always evil and that he just put on a fair face to, you know, delude people into following him. What do you believe? Um, I believe that I think I kind of go with the second, more the conspiracy theory type, that he was always evil and that Nagash just allowed him to continue. Well, there you have it, folks. We have the Flesh Eater Courts unboxed. Ulcheron is a bit of a sad story, you were saying. Oh, yeah. I Okay, I think that maybe he's a little bit more like Sauron from uh, the Tolkien books, where he put on a fair face, and he has his own ideology, madness, whatever you want to call it. Um, and so he was just using the appearance of good in order to achieve his goals. But that's just because I generally tend to find conspiracy theories very interesting, and I, I don't think the best of um, political leaders. So there you have it. It very well could be that he is truly a very sad story, that he was an innocent uh, vampire who was just driven mad by the horrors of what he saw. That's what I'm thinking. That that I'm in that camp. I'm in the okay. camp of I think he was a great knight uh, and he just had some tendencies to like gore on people. Because he was a vampire. I mean, Just there some it is. Gory yeah, no, he liked to eat with his hands. You know, <laughs> it's a very sloppy eater. And uh, I think death magic when he went to the uh, the realm's edge and got insane. It just put him over the edge. Yeah, it just really lent into that his inner basic need to gore, 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 gore. Yeah, it's when the hobby goes too far. When the hobby goes too far you start goring plastic <laughs> no that's not terrible that's terrible uh anyway uh what do you think of the box set oh the box set looks awesome i really like the gore warden he's definitely definitely different than what i've seen so far and you've been reading the uh, book as well now. yeah i yeah. think it's i mean i find them fascinating um i'm not as excited about um about the Wargulf courtier. I know you are super excited about him. I just think he looks so bony. I don't know. I'm I don't like his look. He doesn't look as strong as some of the other um as some of the other miniatures. And he's a beast. What they used to do in the game is they used to put a whole bunch of enchantments on him mm -hmm. and he became super strong doing multiple millions of attacks that you can't really okay. go against and mm -hmm. he was just like a missile and you threw it at people and like go ahead handle that sucker. But uh, no, no, I disliked, I mean, I was really waiting for a nice plastic um, Volga of Courtier, but I do miss that, you know, I wanted some wings. Like he should be able to fly and not only just yeah. fly, like he can jump over buildings no matter, you know, the height, but he can't jump over his own men. Like what? <laughs> like he should just be, have bad. the fly keyword. I yeah. think that should be definitely um, changed that I saw that. But as far as what Ulsharan could do, we already have the rules for him. Mm -hmm. So you can actually check that out and see what he can do and just wait until that comes up. And I can't wait to paint him. Oh, that's going to be awesome. It is. It is. But it looks like I'm going to have to have another um, Age of Sigmar army because I think the Flesh Eater Quartz is taken by somebody. Yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Not like I don't have enough armies. <laughs> What am I, of? like 18 now? I don't know, 20? I don't know. Anyway, enough of my addiction to plastic. Our addiction to plastic. <clears throat> Remember this, folks. Remember to paint every miniature to improve at least one skill. And may your backlog get ever smaller. Step one. Wake up, really gon' rise with the sun Step two, get some good, some food in you Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day